A final year dissertation, sometimes known as a thesis or independent project, is a substantial piece of independent research that many degree programmes require in their last year of study. It's an opportunity to develop and showcase your understanding of the course material, as well as your research skills and ability to analyse data. The word count for a typical dissertation might be anything upwards of 8,000 words depending on the course in question, and its structure will generally consist of several key parts. The first is the introduction, which lays out the aims of your study and provides a brief background to the topic. You will need to clearly state your research question or hypothesis and explain why it is an important or relevant matter for study. Next comes the literature review. This is where you will summarize the existing research on your topic and critically evaluate what has gone before. This will help to further establish the context for your study. The aim is not to discuss everything which has ever been written about your topic, but to establish the need for further research by identifying gaps in the literature. The section following the literature review will usually be a discussion of the methods that you have used to collect and analyze the data. This data may be qualitative or quantitative, experimental or statistical, archival or library based, but make sure that you explain why you chose the approach you did and why you think it is the most suitable choice for your project. The next chapter will sometimes be called the findings or results and will present the key findings and data from your research. Depending on the approach you have outlined in the previous section, it might include tables or charts, discourse samples and other forms of data visualization. You will then need to include a section or chapter in which you discuss these findings. In some ways, this is the most important chapter of the whole dissertation as it is here that you will interpret your results explain their significance, and relate them back to both your research question and the existing literature. However, not all dissertations are as formulaic as this might make it sound. Some will combine both the findings and discussion in a single chapter, and others may not use this format at all. Some library-based projects, for example, will use a more thematic approach, where each chapter explores a separate theme relating to the stated research question. Ultimately, it is a matter for personal judgment. But like all decisions made when writing your dissertation, you should be able to justify it as appropriate to the project you're doing. Whichever structure or style you decide to go for, you will need to write a final conclusion in which you briefly summarize your research, indicate its contribution to the field, and perhaps suggest areas for future investigation and study. Remember that you will also need to include a reference list or bibliography at the end in which you list all the sources cited throughout the dissertation, and you may wish to include an appendix or appendices too. These are additional sections where you can include any materials that didn't quite fit into the main body of your text, but might be helpful to the reader, such as raw data, survey questions or longer samples of discourse. When it comes to completing your dissertation, it is crucial that you plan your time wisely. Develop a timeline with key milestones and stick to it, and make sure that you allocate enough time for revisions and proofreading before submission. Remember, it is an independent project. You will be assigned a supervisor, but it is up to you to determine the ways in which you utilize this relationship. It is not their job to direct your project or to provide in-depth tutorials. Perhaps the best advice when thinking about your dissertation is to choose a topic that genuinely interests you. It will make the process far more enjoyable and will help to keep you motivated across the many months over which you will be working. Good luck, and do take a look at some of the recommended videos if you would like to learn more about academic writing and study skills.